Hello my loves, my name is Gavin and I thought I would do my bookshelf tour today because, you know, you guys have been wanting it for a very long time, you know, the two and a half months that I've been on booktube. But yeah, I've got quite a few requests to do this one. I thought it would be good to do this quite early on in my channel so that in like maybe a year or two I can come back to seeing how they've grown. And you guys know that I haul a lot of books. So you know that this is going to be, you know, redundant by next week. So, but still watch, <laughs> still watch. But yeah, I'm going to have to like get some new shelves soon. It's getting a bit ridiculous, but I love, I love my shelves. To be honest, they're falling apart a bit, but it doesn't matter what's on the outside. It's what's on the shelves that counts. I think I have a pretty decent collection. I think I've got about like 450 to 500 physical books on my shelves at the minute. Might be more. I don't know, I can't remember. I, I have an app that I should have checked before I started recording, so I'll put the number up on the screen once I've finished and doing the editing so we can see how many like actually are on my shelves. I think I, I'll dive straight into it. I'll go through each shelf and why I've sorted the shelves out this way. I don't know how I'm going to film it to be honest because I've got my like ring light thing but like I can't, it's not very high so I've always got to like plop it onto something. So I can't just like stay a mobile on a shelf because it would have to be like really propped up and I don't know how I'm going to do that so I might have to just try and be as steady as I possibly can with my phone as I go through the shelves and like what's on each one. But I'm also not going to pick out each book and tell you all about every single book on the shelves. I'm just going to go past, I'm going to maybe pick out a couple that, you know, are special or if they have some kind of story to go along with them, maybe if they're signed, things like that. Like this is my bookshelf tour, but I think I'm going to start you off like over there because there's no like books on it. It's like 4K Blu-rays, but it's like, it's, it's a bookshelf. It's a little one and I, diggy little one. It's got some things on the top that I want to show you. I have my Blu-ray shelves there as well. And But I will I will be doing mainly my bookshelf tour. So I will get straight into it and I'll explain things as I go along. <laughs> okay, I thought I would start over on this side because this is where my fairy lights start. So I have <laughs> a deluxe edition of Kingdom Hearts 3 because I absolutely freaking love Kingdom Hearts. Uh, there is a candle from Grace and Honey there. There is a catching fa- oh no, it's Mockingjay, sorry. It's a Mockingjay drink cup thing that I got at the cinema and also an Incredibles 2 on, like, I'll, I'll try and get in on there. A symbol, the Mockingjay symbol there and I've lost it, so, oh well. And then also a Mary Poppins Returns umbrella that I got from the cinema, very cool. And then just, you know, briefly my little 4K Blu-ray collection. Lights start there and then they go up. Up here, I've got some little posters from Blackwell's up here. So that's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Alice in Wonderland, and Matilda. What do you want to flame a book for? To read. I also have the classics, original posters of the Disney films. Certificate, Wattpad. <laughs> and when I fought my friend at Universal Studios, dueling, he was evil. So yeah, my fairy lights sort of come up here. London, New York, Harry. And I have my Disney portraits up here as well. Tangled, The Little Mermaid, and Beauty and the Beast. Also thought I would quickly show you my little PlayStation 4 shelf. Um, just underneath my television. <laughs> Got a few games there. Got a little frozen shelf at the bottom as well. My friend Grace drew that for me. The Some People Are Worth Melting For. Which is so cute. She drew that for me for one Christmas as a secret Santa. Got all my little frozen things there as well. This is a frozen jewellery box that my mum got me for Christmas, like last year, because she thought I would like it, and she was right. Watch this. When we're together, then one, all the matter where we are. If you're there with me, sing along everybody. When we're together, favorite place to be. Here. Oh, isn't that just incredible? Yeah, but it's like a little jewelry box. Oh, what's that? Oh, I forgot that was in there. Okay. But yeah, <laughs> my little frozen shelf as well. And I have some... 
PlayStation 3 games on the side there, which I don't play on anymore, as well as the Ni no Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Deluxe Edition thing with a spellbook. Awesome! <laughs> I also have this too, by the way. Just absolutely freaking love Frozen, don't I? And then, just quickly, these are my Blu-ray shelves. I have a tight... Oh, crap. Oh, the, the lights are going to be shit in this video, I tell you. I have a limited edition Titanic thing there. Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory, Bond, no, not that I really watch them. I Am Legend, A Wizard of Oz, that is also limited edition. Can't say, uh, 242,061 of 243,000. Uh, Friends, Seasons 1 to 10, Goonies. Got all my Ultimate Edition Harry Potters up there. Uh, the first two are extended, the rest, not so much. Uh, but yeah, all my Disney classics. Well, most of them. I've got some on the 4K shelf as well. Uh, going into Pixar and then Disney live action slash random animated ones. Marvel. Studio Ghibli, which I've lent a few out to my friends. Ever since my Ghibli-a-thon, I've gotten them into the uh, movies. Um, some other animated films. Scooby-Doo. And then a bit of A to Z for the films going up here. And down, and then we have TV show DVDs. We've got Buffy, Charmed, and Sabrina, as well as some Disney Channel original movies there, and Lizzie McGuire movie, Love, some other DVDs that I don't have Blu-rays for. And then down to the TV show Blu-rays, which I've got Game of Thrones seasons one to seven there, and to be honest, I don't want season eight. <laughs> uh, so I'm with my TV shows A to Z as well. Which I have a few of. But yeah, that, those are my, that was my quick little other bookshelf tour with some Blu-rays on. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then we have the very start of my bookshelf. So this is my like Harry Potter shelf. Most of those are first editions. I think apart from the third one, which coincidentally was the first ever Harry Potter book I got, but it got lost. So I had to rebuy it off eBay. But it's not first edition, the other ones are. I've got a Marauder's Map there, a little time turner that I got from Florida, a chocolate frog with Gilderoy Lockhart card in it, uh, which is pretty cool. And there's a, a pinch of magic kind of sign there that we get in at work sometimes for books so we can promote them a bit better. I took it home instead of us throwing it out. <laughs> Moving down now, I have the first three illustrated Harry Potter editions. Cannot wait for Goblet of Fire illustrated edition, uh, History of Magic. And yeah, just going along. Like I collect, I love paperbacks, so I got I've got all the original paperbacks there. And then when the new covers came out in twenty fourteen, I think it was, I got them all on paperback again, so I could have like all of the new covers. And then just a couple of random random books there. I I've got the original Tales of Beetle the Bard, and the original. Quidditch Through the Ages and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them that were released for Comic Relief. I believe they were. Yeah. I think that was like back in 2001 or something. <laughs> so I still got them. They're, they're quite damaged. <laughs> uh, moving down now. Sorry about the light. Let's see if I can fix that. Yeah, I've got my Charmed shelf here. I've got a couple of portions there used to vanquish demons. And my Book of Shadows mini replica there as well, which I will... I'll thumb through it for you. But I think I've read most of these. I I definitely read all of the books featuring and Prue. But for the other ones, I think I, I was rereading them all. Or at least like starting from the beginning. Like, God, this was like 10, 12 years ago maybe. And I think I got through, halfway through 
like the page books before I kind of stopped. But I have read some of the other ones when I first got them, you know, dotted around. I can't remember which ones I have and haven't read at this point. So I might give them a reread sometimes. I do enjoy them. I enjoy them a lot. But yeah, that's my charm shelf. Had to be done. Moving down now, I have my Goosebumps shelf. I have all original 62 Goosebumps books going into a couple of the Goosebumps series 2000 and the Give Yourself Goosebumps books, which I don't really care much for. I was just, you know, really wanting to have my entire original Goosebumps books collection more than anything. I've got a couple of can, well, I've got a candle from Grey's and Honey there, and then just a random plastic um, one there as well that I don't think you can see, but it's lit up. But it's, it, I like sometimes the flickers. I mean, as you can see, probably more on this shelf, where I have it in the lantern. It's like on, it looks pretty good. And underneath that lantern, I won two of those really, I'll, I'll zoom in a bit. I won those two books there from my professor at uni because I attended an optional seminar thing, which, you know, it was optional, not many people went. But he, I think he was just, or was it a talk? I think it was a talk with somebody and I had no idea what was happening. But in the next sort of lecture, he... He called me out and said he has a couple of presents. So those are um, five Elizabethan tragedies and five pre-Shakespeare comedies, which I'll never read, let's be honest, but they look good on the shelf like that, I think. And then we have some of my series of unfortunate events bit here. So I've got the incomplete history of secret organisations that was seen in the Netflix show. And then we have the Aladdin lamp just randomly on there because I didn't know where else to put it. And all 13 paperback versions of a series of unfortunate events. And they look so beautiful. Coming down, I have another candle there. A fun game. Try and work out how many candles I've got on these shelves and come up with a, a, an answer at the end. And whoever guesses correctly first wins a prize. <laughs> but the next shelf is sort of like my uni books. So I have a lot of uh, classic texts and plays, other things on this shelf as well. When I was at uni, I got really obsessed with collecting those Oxford World Classics editions. So as you can see, if I scale it back just a little bit more, I have two full shelves of the Oxford World Classics. So... Have I read them all? Absolutely freaking not. Did I need them all? Absolutely freaking not. But I I really enjoy, you know, sort of having them. And I love the way they all look together. I have things like The Wonderful Wizard of Oz there, all of Jane Austen, uh, Lewis Carroll, Charles Dickens, Elizabeth Gaskell, H. Ryder Haggard, and, and other ones there as well, you know, just... Some really great old books, you know, from the Victorian period, from the Renaissance. I've read, I have read a few though, because I did need to read them for uni. I definitely wanted to collect a lot of the Gothic books. So I have Anne Radcliffe's books there. She is a fantastic author. She pretty much high-geared the Gothic genre. She is pretty much not exactly the founder of it because Warris Halpole did like write the castle of the toronto and that was that's considered the first gothic book but anne radcliffe definitely sort of re like kicked the genre into high gear and her books are awesome those are my well were my uni books and things like that so and i also did a ghost story course as well very briefly so i've got a couple of ghost stories wedged in there as well oh gosh on the other top of this shelf i have couple more candles. <laughs> I have Phantom of the Opera and there are other gothic tales in there as well. I have Edgar Allan Poe and Priory of the Orange Tree as well as a little frozen Christmas ornament just up there just because. Um, I will go on to the next shelf as well because I'll explain why in a sec actually. This is my sort of Song of Ice and Fire shelf. <laughs> it's I just need one more of those leather bound editions but it's gonna it's going to end up covering that beautiful sign, isn't it? So that's not good. So those are the four hardbacks right there together. And then I have all the paperbacks stacked up there with the candle on top. 
I have Fire and Blood with a Dracarys candle right there as well. Now for the rest of these books, I have them all like sorted. So I have sort of like, they go around like this and along rather than this shelf is all sort of to do with, you know, series, series, series kind of thing. Um, but this is like the kind of A to Z-ish part of it. I'll explain because I do have them in height order. So I have large paperbacks and hardbacks at the beginning before I start my A to Z of general paperbacks. So that, that, I mean, the Shakespeare book should go on the uni shelf, but it's rather large. So I put it at the start there with, you know, my comic books, which aren't a lot, aren't a lot at all. And then we start with sort of A to Z in hardback and large paperbacks. So it goes along like this. I don't really read Skullduggery Pleasant, but the author did a sign in at Newcastle and I got them signed. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so just working along, you know, I've got, so, you know, like the paperbacks in with the hardbacks. Got all my Tolkien there, although it does carry over onto there. Tolkien, Silmarillion, Hobbit. Lord of the Rings trilogy and then the other works. I've only read these these four and I only read these three this year actually back in February March time I think it was. Um, this is a anthology that I am in so I'll take this one out. I wasn't going to do it but yeah this is an anthology that I'm in so if you can spot my name. <laughs> Uh, this came out in May 2017, and it's Stories of Forbidden Love. My story in it is a Christmassy story called Fawn, and it's about a young boy who's 16. He gets taken to a cabin with his widowed father because his dad is ashamed of him being gay because he was recently outed at school. And it's a beautiful little Christmas story. It is signed by some of the authors because I met them in Canada, a couple of years ago as well, so that was pretty cool. That signed. Chuck D. Wilson, got a little bit of Chuck D. Wilson. See what I mean about Horror Store? I mentioned it in my book haul, but it's it sticks out like a sore thumb. This is uh, my adventures with Alice in Wonderland. My parents got me this when I was a kid, and they, like the company that did it, they put you in the story, as well as like anybody else. So it's me meeting Alice. In Wonderland, and it's really it's really bizarre, but I've I still have it. Uh, that's signed by Susan Hill. I have this is I don't know what that is. Uh, this is my only face out. I did have a lot more, but because I do get so many books, I've had to sort of put them on their side. So that's just me trying to save space. That's signed. That's signed. Um, that's signed by Darren Shan, that's signed by Angie Thomas. And then moving down onto this shelf, there's not really that much to say about these ones, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, it's like, it's still going in height order. So this is B, because the other ones are a bit bigger, so now these ones are all like similar height. So this is going in alphabetical, and then we have the Disney hardbacks there. Frozen, Aladdin, Focus Pocus, and then a few bigger, hard, bigger paperbacks. These are a couple of anthologies. I'm in the first one. This was published when I was 14, and there was a secondary school competition to for all of the secondary school students to submit a short story. And I am in this one. I don't know. I'll I'll see if I can like locate it straight away. I remember what it's called. It's called Vanquished. Just because I was like in such a charmed, charmed mood. Vanquished, vanquished. You know what? Let's check the contents page. Okay, so I found it. <laughs> there it is. Vanquished. You're not reading it. Uh, there's my name there. Joseph Swan Comprehensive School. It was on page 88 and 89. But yeah, it's honestly such a terrible, terrible story. I don't know how it got in. <laughs> it is really bad. Never, never look it up, please. So yeah, some more hardbacks there. I think that's signed as well. I think that's signed. And that might be signed. I need to go through these again, but I know a couple of the Matt Haig books are signed. Signed. Um, 
Yeah, and then the three very low hardbacks that I have are here. And then I start my A to Z with Ben Aronovich. And just, you know, coming along here. I'm going to try and unhaul this because I really, really hated it. Uh, I don't like it on the shelf, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, the Louis Bonneveld series, which I think are being re-released in these nice covers that all match. So that's pretty good. Just going along there. Some of my Roald Dahl books, which I'm hoping to get a bit more of. Coming soon. Um, that's signed. Some Neil Gaiman. Another candle there. Coming down to here. I have a Terry Goodkind book. I started reading it, but anything fan like high fantasy really freaks me out. And intimidates me. Like, I'm reading through a song of ice and fire at the minute, and it's really freaking hard. Not gonna lie. It's not hard, but it, it is. It's like it's it's just too intimidating for me. Anyway, uh those three are signed. These are my Southern Vampire Mystery books, aka the Suki Stackhouse Mysteries, I think it's also called, aka the books that True Blood's based on. And I, you know what, I'll go down a little bit so we can see a bit better. I this is books 1 to 10 and there are 13 books, but I can't find the last three books the same height as these ones because I have bought, I bought books 11 and 12 from eBay, but they came the wrong size, so I'm a bit scarred. I don't want to order them in just for them to be the wrong size, so I'm. this may just end up being books 1 to 10 forever now, unfortunately. You may recognise my name on these ones as well. I self-published a few years back. Uh, these two are not available. <laughs> uh, I started a, a sort of urban fantasy series back in. Well, I started writing it like 11 years ago. So, But I, I self-published this one in October 2013. And it was the first book in the Abyssal Sanctuary series. Very cool. It won a couple of awards for self-publishing. And... The second book, book two in Abyssal Sanctuary, which is pretty cool if you ask me. And it's so much longer as well, actually. It's like 500 pages. They were self-published. You won't be able to read them. I don't really want anybody to read them anymore. They were pretty popular on Wattpad, but I took them off the start of last year just because I got in the middle of writing the fourth book out of six. So... <laughs> Maybe one day I'll go back to it. And then here is a ghost story I wrote for university, which I decided to self-publish as well. This is available on Amazon, but I wouldn't recommend getting it. <laughs> it was it was written for university. It was we were supposed to pick an author and try and imita imitate their sort of writing style, but make it your own kind of thing. So I picked Susan Hill and then I wrote a ghost story set in the 1800s in the Lake District. So that's pretty cool. So I've got all my Christina Henrys there. I've only read one of them. Wasn't really that bothered by it. Go Moving along. Oh, bloody loved Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Don't know why I've got that book. Oh, also, I should probably say um, the back of the bookcases are really bad. So they're actually not, like they have to be brought forward. Otherwise they'll go right through and they'll not be in line. So I have to do that. Um, my friend wrote these. She gifted me the third one last year when it came out, which was really awesome. I love a bit of Vic James. Okay, so talking lonely. Okay, so starting with my Stephen Kings, I have the all of the Dark Tower series. Never read them. Um, it's a shame because the last book is there and you know it's it, it all matches on the side so it's a it's a bit sad that <laughs> I can't have them all together anymore but I decided to put the series first and then all of Stephen King's standalones next kind of thing although I I'm really lacking in the Stephen King department so I only have like Cujo, Travel's Game, It, Misery, On Writing, Pet Cemetery, and The Shining but On Writing is non-fiction so it doesn't really count that much but oh well uh, but yeah, uh, moving on, moving on. So I have a bookmark. Where am I? Where am I pointing? My finger's down there. What am I doing? I have a bookmark in Poppy War because I was reading it last month. 
but I will finish it at some point. Same with Kuju. That will probably read that sometime. I don't know. Uh, but I have my Throne of Glass books there. Never read them, but I've got them. And I put the Assassin's Blade there. I, I believe that's a prequel thing. I don't know about Tower of Dawn. Can somebody explain why Tower of Dawn, like what it is? Because I've heard conflicting things. I heard it's the sixth book in the series, but also it's like not. So I don't know. I, I'm confused. There's my mage candle, which I keep lighting because it's so amazing. But I don't light the candles next to the books. Just FYI. So moving along, we have some more books. Those, those are signed. Um, I have my Luna Chronicles books there with another candle on top. My Twilight books, I've only ever read the first one, didn't like it, but I still have them all. <laughs> Honestly, what is my life? Um, I have some Michael Moore Pigo there. I'm trying to start my Worst Witch collection. I have um, Ali Novak's books, she's another friend of mine. Alice Osman, I've got some of her books as well. And getting down onto this shelf, I have the Dorothy Must Die series. Which sign is signed? Like, this is a children's book, Oxa Pollock, but it's kind of translated, I think. It's like a foreign book. I don't know, like, it seems really weird. I have... These are my friend Beth's books, Kiss and Booth, Out of Tune, and Rolling Dice. She got her story, Kiss and Booth, on Netflix last year, and she signed it for me. I love her so much. She is awesome. But yeah, those are her books. Gotta support your friends, you know. Um, Evelyn Hugo, recently read, recently freaking loved. Then we have Rick Riordan, uh, a lot of his books, Percy Jackson series, Heroes of Olympus series, and I was starting this, like collecting this series, but I didn't, oops. Um, yeah, got these three, only read the first one, it was all right. Yeah, Seventh Born, my friend's book as well, Monica Sands, she's got a sequel coming out soon, great book, I read it last year. Freaking loved it. But again, like, can you see, like, the gap at the back there? Like, but it has to because, like, <laughs> this part is secure, so, like, can't go further back. But the rest of it, like, if I do this, like, you know what I mean? It's, oh, that's just so stupid. I really want your bookshelves, like, so badly. Somebody gift them to me, please. I don't know where all my Darren Shan books are gone as well. That's the only one I could find. Um, started with the Pretty Little Liar series, but I don't think I want to read them, to be honest. Of course, my friend Rebecca Sky, her books as well, that's signed. Next time I see Rebecca, she's going to have to sign this one for me. Uh, started the Vampire Diaries books as well, but I don't really want to finish reading them. I think I read the first four of the original series. I think I read the original series, but I didn't start off with the return. And then I just stopped collecting them because I just couldn't be asked. Um... Another candle, a couple more books there. Beyond the Deep Woods, Edge Chronicles, man. What a classic. One of the bottom shelves here, which I hope you can see nicely. I think on the come up is signed. Of course, we've got these. That's This is signed by a few Wattpad authors I met in New York and Canada. Uh, never more. Never more. And, yep, Sarah Waters. Another one that's signed by a couple of Wattpad authors. And then I have, like... My old Jacqueline Wilson collection. I have a lot more, but again, like, I've lost them. I don't know where they are. But I had a few hardbacks. I had, like, Best Friends and some of the Girls in Love books and stuff like that. And then I have End with, like, Ghost Whisperer books because I was obsessed with that show as well. But there was only, like, three of them and then a guide and then another candle. On this shelf here are my proof copies that I've, I've gotten recently. That one, uh, this one is Kingdom of Souls which comes out this year. My dog Vanessa comes out next year, January, I believe. Got Romanov. Ghost Factory's out now, I think. So is Romanov. Uh, Frost Heart, that comes out soon. The Land of Rogue comes out in September next to it as well. 
Um, that's another one I'm really excited to read. And the, this one there, The Haunting of Dreacliff Grange School, I think it's out now, but it sounds quite gothic-y. Same with Wakenhurst by Michelle Paver. If you've read them, let me know. Wakenhurst and On the Come Up are both signed as well. I got a, I got a proof copy of On the Come Up, so that's pretty cool. And I also have the little Polar Express mug there as well. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Just to just to end end the shelf with and then my bookopoly that's where it lives my little my little home for it but as you can see the back of it the back of the shelf is literally coming apart <laughs> so that's not ideal but yeah i think that's pretty much pretty much my bookshelves so that was my little bookshelf tour i'm sorry it wasn't a bit more professional um i genuinely don't know how i was supposed to record this you know and keep it still pull books out, things like that. I don't think you guys really want to see me pulling all the books out, but I did want to show you a few of them and just talk a little bit about some of them. It means that now I've set the bar pretty low for my bookshelf tours, the next time I do one, I can just absolutely smash it out of the park. If people have done bookshelf tours, please let me know how you did them so I can learn and grow. But you know, I'm, st I'm still fresh blood, I'm still new. So that was the tour, that was the little tour there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a little thumbs up, leave a comment on your thoughts on this little tour. I know it was shit, you don't have to tell us that. Be like, oh Gavin, this is how you can improve. And that would be helpful. Yeah, let me know what you think. Hopefully you had a blast, I know I did. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.